All right, all right, all right, attention deficit. So we made it to Geneva. I gotta tell you, this is so much fun being a tourist. I'll say it, I'll say it. We're definitely being tourists. We're doing all the touristy things in Europe right now and we're having a blast. So we decided, you know, on the way from Paris down to Italy, little old Geneva, Switzerland is kind of right on the way. Now, I originally, I mean, I came here to find some chocolate, but we got a little delayed back in Paris and didn't get down here until later tonight. And I mean, I just, I don't know. I, I can't find the freaking chocolate. So we came across this beautiful subject, the Jet d'Eau, which was created in 1891. And it's been an iconic symbol of Geneva ever since. Uh, it's a symbol of how environmentally friendly they are. They're very big on that here. And we just, I had, I had to come here and show you guys this. I mean, it's awesome. Uh, you walk out on this little pavilion. It's like a little, little stone wall. You know, we're surrounded by water on both sides. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's swans everywhere. There's ducks, there's freaking bats flying around. Like, uh, and it's awesome. And you know, you can see the whole entire, this giant, giant, giant lake is just the whole coast of it is just littered with hotels and they have all the advertising for all the different watch companies you know how switzerland's known for their watches but uh yeah this bad boy i mean this thing has got to be shooting up like 150 feet and i believe it's it's powered by something like a thousand kilowatts of pressure per second um and it's just it's absolutely it's awesome you know this is this is why we did it. you know i didn't find my chocolate but i found this and it's awesome and the air here is just like i don't even feel like i've been smoking cigarettes for the last two and a half weeks you know it's just like fresh air my body's like thank you like i've been driving forever today on not a lot of sleep per the usual but I feel very, very refreshed. And yeah, you know, I just want to show you guys another, another awesome moment in Attention Deficit's Euro trip. It's funny, you'll be standing here and one moment the water is going way out there and then the wind picks it up a little bit and all of a sudden it's just blasting you in the face. I ran out there earlier to do, to do the blog segment and uh, I was just getting pummeled, but uh, it was awesome, it was fun. And, you know, I mean, we've only been here for maybe hour and a half, but it's been just like really, really awesome walking around. And the Swiss are pretty, pretty, pretty awesome people so far that we've met. And yeah, this big fountain, it's, you know, I, I guess it's kind of like the big thing in Geneva, uh, besides like the convention and stuff. And. Again, just wanted to share this moment with you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, we are about to get back on the road because we got to get down to Florence and do all that fun stuff and then off to Rome and then coming back home. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, it does not run <laughs> 24 hours. Uh, this time frame, I believe it's like May 5th through September or something. <laughs> it stops at 11.15. So sorry, Malka. You'll have to try harder next time. All right, now we're stuck out here in the middle of the water with no light. It's kind of dark, but I guess we got a better view of everything around us.